Hello, and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program with me, the Green Dragon. And we are, of course, in version 0 0.24, and we're playing the Contracts campaign thingy. So, let us take a look at some more things. Well, for one thing, we can test all these things which are landed at Kerbin, because, you know, that will give us a bit more power. Pull the liquid engine orbiting Kerbin. Hmm. It's a lot of money. Well worth it, actually. The effort to lift it up there. And a skipper orbiting the moon. Considering how much we would gain from that, that is actually relatively worthwhile, even if we lose a lot of pieces along the way. So. So, 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 so. First off, the stuff that we need to test while landed. Uh, missions. Oh, we can check it here. Right. Back booster. Landed, eh? Right. And we need to test you and you in all kinds of situations. Right. Landed, landed. Okay. So why don't? Yeah, this is just gonna be a quick test assembly. Gonna do it like so, like so, and like so. I suppose. Uh, eh. Eh? Yes, sure, sounds great. Sounds great. Yes, nice and low. Okay, good. What else? Landed carbon, landed carbon. And a... One of these, eh? Alrighty. And... Uh, okay. Sounds great. And then just uh, eh and eh for the main cell. And just make sure this whole assembly is more or less stable. There we go. Sounds great. Launch. Sounds great. Let's let's try this. Let's see. Yes, 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 yes. Run the test. Uh Right? Uh... Wait, did that... Come on! Yeah, it bounces right when you place it and... If it... I mean, see? It takes it a moment to register and if you... Oh... That's the wrong engine! Never mind! I did, did screw up. Right, we need to test one of these in orbit around the moon, do we? Hmm, yes. Yes, if we had the good fuel tanks, we could actually try to get, use the main cells to get there, but... Okay, we are landed. Run the test. Yep, looks like it has a lot of power. There we go, that's one test. Uh, activate it! Uh... That's... Seriously? Are you... Actually gonna be a pain in the ass about it? Uh... Alt... Time Warp... Yep... Just burn out, please. Not gonna argue. Well, fuck it, just recover it, it's fine. Okay, so, now let's see about... trying to get a skipper to the moon. That should be relatively doable. Research that, and... research that, and of course, research this. Ooh, a grabbing unit. Oh. I think we might as well grab these for the docking ability, right? 
Might as well. Because that way... <gasps> the GASP! The atomic rocket motor. What a great fracking deal, in fact. So we'll have to use these more sparingly than before, but whatever. Okay. So we need to get a skipper to the moon. It's gonna have to be a manned flight, of course, because, well, we don't have any sufficient uh, power systems to really make this work properly. So... Uh, da -da 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 -da. No structural pieces to spread it out appropriately. Oh, no, actually we do. That's fine, then. Okay, since this engine is relatively expensive... Well, not that expensive, actually, but... It's a bit expensive. We'll do it like this. Yeah, that looks totally legit. So, contracts, contracts, contracts. Exploring Minmus. Hmm. Actually... We could just combine that. Go to the moon, test it out, and then go to Minmus with something <laughs> insane like this. Right? Yeah! Yeah, that sounds great. And since this will... Oh, and we need to test a poodle in orbit around Kerbin. Well now. Well now. Well, actually, no, we will test that later. First, we're just gonna go to the moon. We're not gonna bring any science either. Yeah, fuck it. Just... Fuck it. Dum -dum. And, of course, a glorious mainsail. Yes? No? Maybe? Speaking of what kind of delta we are we looking at on this piece of junk? Decent. Pretty damn decent. Hmm. Da da da. Though. Da da da. Means like seriously. Yeah, we'll be wasting pieces on this because of how freaking um, you know effective this whole thing is gonna be. But that does not mean that we will be doing that much wastage. So, you know, we can have something like... Well, probably not that. Probably something like this. Oh, that is so freaking stupid. Yeah, something like this. Use that, go to the moon. Then come back, try to land the whole stinking thing. You know? Hopefully safely. Come on. It'll have to be good enough. And da 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 uh, gears good. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Um Well if we are going to the moon we might as well grab something from it, right? I mean if we're going anyway, right? Uh, grab one of these no, that's that's really crappy. Why don't we instead grab one of these? Oh yeah, frack yeah! Awesome epic ensues. Well, fui. Well, just four batteries then. Fine. Oh, game. Seriously, game. What the fuck? We will need shoots for this wonder of modern engineering. Modern Kerbal engineering, which says something else than just plain modern engineering, obviously. And uh, 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 test it in orbit around the moon. Low oh, altitude pass, too. Well... I mean, if we are going there anyway, we could technically land and just... You know? Wait, let's save that and let's grab the plant a flag on the moon mission. Because, honestly, I mean... If we are going there anyway, we might as well get the cash for that as well. And we have those landing here and we're gonna be landing anyway and... Why the fuck not? 
Why the fuck not? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll want a big ass assembly of death and destruction here, of course. Of course. Uh, da, 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 da. And uh, where's my engineer? There's my engineer. So that would give us about 2,000. Which is not exactly good enough. Okay, what if we had a... Well, we can't have a fuck ton of things like that, because that would be weird. See, I don't want to ditch a mainsail into the ocean if I can avoid it. I really, really don't. Mainsails are freaking expensive. Well, we're gonna be wasting pieces off of this, right? I mean, who gives a fuck, really? We can mostly bring it up there with, like, solids anyway, so who gives a fuck? Again? Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm willing to spend a single mainsail on making this work. I suppose. Uh, seems okay. Almost enough to get into orbit, too. It's pretty neat. Wait, uh, da, da, da. can I please adjust the thingies here? Thank you, main display. Oh, that's about perfect, actually. Excellent. I'm actually gonna move this slightly upwards, because awesomeness. We will be going to the Minmus eventually, it's just not yet. Not yet, darlings, not yet. Also, uh, take you off. Good, and... Close enough? I don't know, is it close enough? I guess it could be. I mean, this looks actually pretty neat, strangely enough. Like this. Oh yeah, that will do nicely. That will do quite nicely. And now we just strap it in. Prevent bullshit moments. We all know those bullshit moments are coming. We all know they're coming. And just to... How much do winglets cost anyway? Eh, they're relatively cheap. Let's throw a few on there. I mean, with the amount of money we will be earning from these two contracts, which we'll be testing simultaneously, it should be okay. Right? It should be okay to do it this way. So, that's the way we're gonna do this. Actually, maybe, just maybe, maybe, maybe we don't want to do it like that. Maybe we want a winglets like in there. No? No? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, we'll have gimballing, I suppose. And, um... Oh, gods. Gods, forgive me, but let's launch this insanity. Boosters! Oh, holy crap, that... That looks so good. Just epicness ensues. Rocket! Away! Awesome, 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 awesome. Let's try not to kill Bill. Haha, <laughs> kill Bill. Alrighty. So, acceleration could be a bit better, but overall I'd say we're doing okay. And yes, I could probably have set it up to be recoverable with a bit of effort, but I don't have... I only have the Stay Putnik uh, probe thingy, otherwise I would have set up the mainsail at least to be recoverable, but as is, uh, not so much, that's good. That would be a bit difficult. Oh. Right, this isn't going the way it should. Uh, sorry, 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 but I meant to launch the mainsail at the same time as this. And actually, yeah, we'll give these a bit more power while we're at it. That way I can, you know, vary my thrust a little bit. Keep things, like, moving along. 
Sort of, kind of, and boom, shakalaka. Yes, get the initial acceleration going. Right? And then we can throttle down on the main cell. Excellent. Perfect. Oh, we're actually losing speed ever so slightly. That is not appropriate. Alright. Okay, so it drifts a little bit. That's not nice. It shouldn't do that. Winglets! Why does it want to drift? I mean, the fuck? I mean, surely it is symmetrical, right? So, why would it drift? Surely not because of one tiny antennae, like here. Hey, uh, we kind of want to start turning, actually. S give us a smidge of power from the main cells. Turn, you son of a bitch! Eek! Close, too close. No way. Turning towards 30. Eek! No! Control! Yes, excellent. Now let us burn for orbital bullshit rays. Okay, so we have to get pretty low over the moon before we ignite the skipper. We should keep that in mind when we get there. Okay, don't dare accelerate faster than at 3x because badness will happen, I just know it. Alrighty. Uh, so far so good, so far so good. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Okay, climbing for orbit. More or less successfully too. Great, that's great. We're Progress is being made for science. Eek! Stay under control, son of a bitch. Yeah, looks good. Should be able to land this safely, in theory. Should be safe to accelerate with this. There is no you know, like, weak joints I should worry about, you know, risky joints, that is. So, that will bring us up to space. Now, let us just drift upwards and then try to circularize. It should be okay, we should get out up there pretty neatly now, and we should have enough power to make it to the moon and run our test. Our test. Uh. Alright. Oh, right, right, right. Almost into space now. We'll be able to do proper time warping. There we go. There we go. And the moon is... Le Gasp over there. Okay. Okay, so let us turn this... thingy. Ah, shit, I should have run an engine test on the ground. Oh, well. When going to Minmus, then it'll be fine. Now then, I mean, we're in we're in space. We're good. Set as target and give me a thingy. We want a really low perhaps this time. Actually, uh, oh, that's an impact. What? How low do we need to get? Uh, no, 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 this one. 28 and 40. So, 30 and 40. Wait, right, that would be pretty much perfect then, if we could manage it. Yeah, this is a big freaking thing. It might actually be useful for some things this big to actually use RCS or reaction wheels. Admittedly. Just to make things, you know, easier. There we go, there we go, there we go. Looks good. Okay, so, we're talking about a pretty long burn, unfortunately, but... With the wonders of time warp, it won't take too long. 
Wait. Engageth the engines. And time warp. Excellent. So that should go down rather nicely. You know, it's far more fun when you have missions to strive for, you know? It really sort of is. It does seem to drift a little bit. For whatever reason. Anyway, uh, off the time warp, stay on target. Renew, remove maneuvering node, and... Uh, yep. You want a nice low eventual, perhaps? Perfect. That will do nicely. Now let us go and do our engine test, and also incidentally land on the bloody thing. So... Hey yo! Hello, Mr. Moon! Now we should go... Yeah, we're gonna circularize at the lowest point, possibly before we even try to do the test, cause... Why the frack not? Right? Should have enough uh, firepower to do that relatively easily. Should have enough firepower left in these, that is. Because I'm pretty sure we'll have enough firepower. Because we, you know, have a whole tank. Although, there is a moderate chance of being unable to return. Which would suck really badly. Because then we would have to rescue Bill. And that would be a sad day. You know? That would be a sad, sad day. Also, okay, let's just ignite these. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Nope, we don't have engineer on this, do we? So we can't really tell how much delta we we have, can we? Which is kind of a bad thing. Let me just bring it in to a manageable amount. That's not manageable. That's in fact very, very unmanageable. Uh, da, 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 uh, burn upwards to stick with it. Crap, we actually should accelerate a bit because otherwise we will be in a bad way. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, good. Alright, now we'll do one orbit here. Test the engine and then we'll see. Oh, then we shall see indeed. Uh, da, 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 da. Good times, good times. Let's uh, see. Hey, okay, good. There we go. Uh, there we go, that's done. Perfect. Much monies. I'm gonna limit the trust on that, though. I mean, what's your specific impulse? It's gonna be crappier, actually, than what we'll have on these engines anyway, so... Not much point in using those, is there? Is there? I mean, on using the skipper, is there? Alright. Uh, yeah, get rid of that. That's not important. And let us see about yay landings. Yay landings. And let's look for a likely spot as well. Ooh, right over crater. Sweet, that will do nicely. I like that. That will do. That will do perfectly fine. Turn us around and prepare for deceleration. Well, actually, we will use the skipper. Because, I mean, seriously, these... I mean, seriously, they're not that much more efficient, right? There's really no point why we shouldn't use the skipper, given a good reason to do so. Because otherwise it's gonna get messy and I might need the engine power. Well, actually, we'll use the skipper for the return, quite possibly. We might have enough fuel to actually land without it. Okay, just in case we have to use it, we're gonna set the trust limiter to about 25. Which should give us a decent amount of power for the landing. 
while at the same time not being too powerful. Hopefully. Gonna deploy the gears now. Just as a precautionary measure, cause things could go horribly, horribly wrong and I might forget and it could be bad. Now the radar altimeter. Now, okay, it's a moving. We are about 3000 above the surface. Time to kill our relative speeds. Uh, I said time to kill our relative speeds. Damn, these engines are slow. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, nervous making. Very nervous making. We should be okay. Shouldn't need that. Right, right. Surely I shouldn't need that. Wish I had set those external ones as detachable, but I was greedy, okay? I wanted to save as much money as possible, okay? It's my thing. I'm a greedy bastard. It's just the way I am. Okay, so we should deploy our parachutes, right? Do you know, land safely on the moon? Should help, right? Okay, bit low, bit low. Bit dangerous still landing with so little fuel in the tanks. You know? Could be bad, could be very, very bad if we are not careful. As in extremely careful. Okay, balance out the speed, keep it constant. Six meters per second, bit of a thump, but should be okay. Fuel reserves are ridiculously low. To the bone, really. But, oh well. Accelerate a little bit. Burn off the last of our fuel. And we're down. And burn off the last of this, cause... Well, actually, whatever. So, we are here at the moon. Observe materials bank, open it up, and... Yay, a hundred signs if we recover this. And we will recover this, rest assured. Uh, da -da -da -da. Goo is happy, good. Let go, and fly! Whee! Try not to splat, Bill. Try not to splat. You have to bring back our valuable equipment after all. So plant a flag. Alright. Uh, surface sample, keep. EVA report, keep. And there we are go. -a. Go, 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 go. Yay, much money. Nearly a hundred K and a fuck ton of rep, too. Very, very awesome. Aww. Right in the face. Bill likes his face, right? Oh, shit! Well, that's not good. I do hope he can get back inside. Oh, don't splat! Shit! Oh my god, you little fucker. You little fucker. Oh, get up there. Get. Use your jets. Yeah, every time he slams into something, he turns off his jet because he's a little nooblet. Oh, thank god he got in. Okay, so crew report. Keep that. And activate the skipper. Skipper activated. And ignitions. Uh, and turning to the thingy. And burn, 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 baby. Wonder how much fuel we're gonna have. I hope we have enough. We should at least make orbit, so that'll be fine. He's gonna be safe enough in orbit. You know, even if it takes him a while to get back home. So, how does this look? Oh, pretty good. What if I kept burning? Oh. No, it's not good. You're on the wrong side of the moon. Alright. Well, let's climb into orbit and then just... You know, make it back to Kerbin. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. 
Yes, ignite that. Watch good things happen. Okay, so not exactly a perfect circularization maneuver. Damn. It's like that sentence got away from me. Frack me. Alright, that uh, should be good enough. Let's. Uh... No, no, no. Uh, add manure. Yes, manures. We like manures. We've heard of manures, right? Of course we have. So, that's about perfect. I'm just looking for the perfect ejection angle for carbon. And that's about it. Let's try to bring this in a little more precisely because those engines are valuable. Right? We do not wish to recover them at 40% efficiency, we want to recover them at 100% efficiency. Okay, so now we need to wait until we reach our burn point and then we can make interesting things happen. So, time warp. Okay, there we are, right on the dot. Five, four, three, two, one, and ignition! And cut off. Uh, not exactly perfect, but close enough for government work. Let me see. Let... No, it's not. Gonna need to bring that back out a bit because we don't want to just slam into Kerbin like that. There we go. That is good. 40. 40 is good. We like 40. Hey, okay, so where will we be landing? In exactly the wrong place. Other side of the planet, really. Well, actually, we might end up going through. You know, being low enough in the atmosphere to just sort of stay in the atmosphere and just travel through it for a while, which could be okay. Depending on, right? Ah, shit, we didn't really go deep enough for that, though. Yeah, looks like we're gonna climb out rather nicely here. Unless... Unless... I just help myself a little bit with the engine. My glorious skipper engine. Yes! That's right! Using the engines! Frack yeah. That's not enough. Exactly. There we go, that's about better. Oh, that's about perfect actually. Yeah, time warp. This will be good. We're gonna climb back out again and then we're gonna just plop right on top of the Space Center is going to be awesome. Sort of, anyway. Do we have any fuel? Just a smidgen. We might need that for the landing, so... Should probably keep that and set the thrust limit up to 10% so that we have finer control during the landing. And that should be fine. It's flashing a bit because of graphic glitches, but it's fine. I mean, what could possibly go wrong here? And uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. We should be coming down in a moment. Right? Okay, that's the appropriate continent at least. Though, of course, we are gonna come in a bit weirdly and we might be a bit away from the space center actually. Unfortunately, not too far away though. I would hope. Right, game. Uh, yeah, we can't really deploy them this high up, that is bad. So, a really crappy bounce possibly, but oh well. Yes, just use up whatever we have left to bring this in. We'll land a bit closer, which should make things a little bit better. Hey, you wanna go out and push, Bill? That could be awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're all good there. All loaded up on valuable science. Yeah, we want those to deploy as soon as possible, actually, because, you know, we don't 
every moment we keep moving forward, we keep getting further away from this space center. And we don't want that. We want to land in the ocean near to it for maximum money recoveries. Because, while I might be willing to waste a bunch of resources on this mission because of just how much we're gonna get from it, it does not pay to be wasteful. And we're trying to make some money here, right? Of course we are. So, that being the case, well, can't see anything about where we're landing and don't have any lights on this either. I should really start putting some lights on my craft. You know? I really should. I really, really should. Is that water down there? I really can't see. I think it is. I'm kind of hoping it is. We don't have any engines left that are, you know, in working condition. What with us being out of fuel, like, completely, so... You know... Yep, that's water. So we will not be able to slow ourselves down. Oh, bullshit! It actually ripped itself to pieces. Bullshit! Stupid fucking time warp. God damn it, at least we kept the science. Well, shit. And I can't really reload either. Well, we're just gonna have to take the hit there, unfortunately. Crap! So very uncool. The game screwed me, essentially. Fucking game. But okay. Okay, we got some science, we got a bit of funding back. But we earned a fuck ton of money, so I suppose it works out okay. Anyway, this episode has been going on for a bit longer than it should have, but, you know, whatever, enjoy. So, um, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, so, uh, see you then.